Good morning guys, bonjour tout le monde, I hope you're doing well. Welcome in this video, a little bit different than usual since I started to work. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm working right now, but this is my first week as a full-time remote employee at the company. First and foremost, since I've noticed I've never really introduced myself in any of my prior videos, let's get to know each other a little better. I am Céline, I'm 24 years old, you may definitely tell by my accent that I'm French. I was indeed born and raised in Paris, my mom is Taiwanese and my dad is Cambodian Chinese. I have an older brother who is certainly watching this video and thinking how useless and boring my videos are. So I've been living in 5 different cities throughout my life, Paris mostly for 20 years but also Beijing, Lyon, Shanghai and Taipei. Yeah, I do like to travel a lot if you haven't noticed it yet. I just love to meet new people, discover new culture and just be spontaneous. I've just graduated last year in 2021. I did a double bachelor in economics management and Chinese and then I pursued a double master degree in management and international business. Alright, so that's pretty much all you need to know about my life. And now let me walk you through a day in the life of a digital remote worker. We miss a train. <laughs> so now I'm just driving lunch. found a quiet coffee shop. I have to say it was a bit difficult because it's more crowded than expected. But let's be honest, it's Lake Como, it's a very popular place in Italy and long story short, I haven't worked for the past few months because I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, before that, I was in Taiwan for a year and a half. I was working as an analyst for luxury brands for seven months. It was a very toxic job. Um, the culture there was a bit fucked up. Uh, we did a lot of overtime, but I really met amazing colleagues. But yeah, the whole organization was really, really, really uh, fucked up. didn't like the job you know like I really learned a lot and I feel like I grew up like a lot a lot during those past few months and yeah thank you for like you know trusting me and you know after like every call that I had with you you have this ability of making people feel valued and I think like that's a really strong thing as a leader that's sweet of you that's, uh, that's very kind I'm also actually when you when we hired you indeed we I had discussions at Eden's like that because we saw like okay you're maybe not like a typical analyst but sometimes it's good to have different type of people in the mm -hmm. team right so I thought and probably I already told them then of the people I told them that probably you want to if he stay then he probably want to be a CRM at one point which is okay for us because you are not you're French and you Hey I have a question Yes uh, tell me Where can I have hair? Where can I have hair? She's going to get the first bite. <laughs> We're having so much Cheers! Cheers! It's a smile. It's a smile. It's a smile. It's a smile. 
点点亮亮。Yeah. So like, oh, like the focus is really good. 嗯，超级差好多。怎样爱上镜头里的自己吗？没有没有没有，太帅了！为什么拍照？比如爱跟交往，很专业。I took six months to recover from my mental breakdown. I travel a lot. I visited Taiwan. I started my YouTube channel and I directed my own short film. That hopefully I will be able to share with you guys very soon. And now I am back to work. Um, being able to work remotely and being flexible will really help me to improve my productivity and also my mental health. So I am really, really excited about this new job opportunity. All right, so for this week, we don't have that much work, but it's all about trying to get to know what the company is doing, how I can support the whole team. Um, because it's uh, work remote, so everything is online. And this week, I have a lot, a lot of training videos to watch. And it's a tech company. I am not super familiar with all the vocabulary, so I'm really trying to learn um, from all those videos. And I think I'm learning a lot. It's a very new environment for me but i feel like it's very very interesting but yeah this is only gonna be a short-term plan i am planning to do freelancing for a couple of months probably two to three after that i will switch to consulting and i guess the huge advantage of this work is the flexibility and time it gives me a lot of freedom and more time to build my next career move I'm still thinking of doing a career switch to a more creative career, but it takes time. It takes a lot of time and this will help me to be a bit more financial independent because it pays quite well freelancing. I'm just gonna try to make the best out of those couple of months, try to see whether freelancing and working remotely um, are something that fits my personality but I think it will because I love to travel and I really really love to just be free and work from anywhere in the world so I will see that's a huge challenge for me a new opportunity and I just love that we'll see what happens next I know I'm 
I'll be okay.